Nerdy sports fan with the Week 10 pregame for the Atlanta Falcons versus the Cleveland Browns. There's only one team worth talking about here, folks. Atlanta's going to be all over the Browns. Now they've got three wide receivers that other teams would love to have. They've got multiple running backs that other teams would love to have. They've got some talent at the tight end position. They've got a quarterback who's extremely talented, but is hot and cold. Doesn't matter, though. They're going against the Browns. Rookie quarterback, absolute mess in the coaching positions. It, anybody can beat the Browns right now, except for maybe Oakland. Um, but yeah, the, the Browns are a hot mess. Um, just had a major, major coaching overhaul midseason, and they've got a rookie quarterback. So don't go near the Browns if you're a fantasy owner. Don't go near the Browns if you're gambling. Just nothing. Stay away from them. Um, Nick Chubb is definitely their starting running back, getting the load. They're going to be behind a lot. They're going to be throwing the ball a lot. He's still going to be involved because young quarterback, safety valve, throws out of the backfield, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, maybe a flex play, running back to at absolute best, but you've got better options. Trust me. Leave him on the pine. Um, Jarvis Landry, everybody had such high hopes for him being a target monster, but it's just not clicking right now. So, yeah, you would think that there's going to be a lot of balls out in the air in Cleveland because they're going to be behind from the onset, and they're going to be behind big. So, yeah, you, you would think Landry would have a good game here. I haven't seen it from him. Until you see him have a really dominant, fantastic performance and string some good games together, you've got better options. He's a wide receiver three. Those are the only two players even worth thinking about in Cleveland. On the Atlanta side... They love that offense. They love putting the pedal to the floor and just keeping it running. Most teams, I would say it's going to be running backs, running backs, running backs, because they're going to be ahead early. Not Atlanta. They love putting up points. Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, they're going to have strong games. Mohamed Sanu's probably going to be worth a fly or two. So... Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, and Mohamed Sanu are wide receivers 1, 2, and 3 in fantasy, respectively. Matt Ryan's always QB1. I mean, he's hot and cold. He has some terrible games now and again. It's not going to be in this one. Cleveland's just bad enough to start anybody against. And Matt Ryan's so damn talented and has such a, a plethora of talent surrounding him that he's going to go off. I would expect Coleman to be the better running back to play out of the backfield here because he's a receiving threat as well. I mean, Freeman's really, really good, but Coleman's more versatile. And in that two-headed monster running back game that they have going on, um, he's really shown himself this year to be a um, more of a weapon for that offense. So this is going to be all Atlanta. Sorry, Browns fans. Um, maybe next year... Maybe a few years from now. Figure out your coaching situation and try not to get Baker Mayfield killed before you do it.